Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the Midwest Model Shop. Got a short little episode for you today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take apart and put together all the little life rafts that go all over the ship. That's kind of just a big pile of work and I'm really just showing it so that you guys can see how much tedious little stuff there is that has to be done to get this ship together. Uh, we'll get those installed. Then I install a few ladders or stairs in the middle of the ship in the superstructure that was a carryover from a previous episode when we got the forward funnel installed. All that follow up took place. And then the big part of this episode is we assembled the captain's gigs. I'm going to call them the captain's gigs. Uh, I also refer to them as the admiral's barge, which if you're the admiral and you're in it, I guess it's the admiral's barge. If it's not, it's the captain's gig because it's his boat. Yeah. I'm not savvy on all that stuff, but you guys can feel free to comment below. So we get those put together and just do a quick little uh, overview of the ship. Simple, quick episode. Hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get in the build. We'll see you again soon. All right, uh, I just thought I'd show real quick for those of you who wonder. These are the uh, life rafts, some of them, and this is why it takes me a long time to make videos. Um, see if we could zoom in on this one here. So you got to cut these out. And on all four sides, there's a nub. See, like right there, and that needs to be cleaned up. And so I'm in the process of doing that with this pile, and that allowed me to make this pile. Those are all finished. And then when they're, um, then I gotta glue them together in the right combination. And this is the fast part to go ahead and airbrush them, and then I can go ahead and install them on the ship. So just a little heads up here in terms of like this stuff takes a lot of time but anyway that's that's how they're getting done pressing on all right all that fill around with the life rafts just to make a couple piles there's some there we scoot on down we've got a few there same on the port side and then uh we've got a handful that they were stowed right underneath the catapults in the back right there all right let's get some more work done here pressing on Okay, an ongoing effort to finish up lots and lots of little details. I want to point out this little area right here. We installed, uh, o well those aren't actually, those are the gas canisters. Those aren't our two canisters right here. Both sides, this is the starboard side we did on the port side. Now, right here, uh, let's just see, O one, two, O three, or 4 level, we got a set of stairs that go in here, and then another set of stairs that go down here. I need to assemble those, paint them, and put them in place, and then we can get the railing in. This has to happen both on starboard and port side. So I'm going to knock that out at this point. Okay, here are now the three staircases in and the railing and then we have our floater basket that goes right here. Uh, I installed the staircases first then the railing and then the floater basket. I believe this handles, this takes care of this little section of the ship. This starboard side zoom way out. Sorry it's going out of focus because this camera focuses very slowly and we'll come back in Here's the port side, same things done right there with the floater basket right here. So now we have this five inch gun obviously goes right here and then there's railing that runs along here obviously as well that needs to go into place. But that little detail is all set. Now I gotta figure out uh, the next little detail I'm gonna put together, pressing on. All right, pressing on with life here. We're moving on to the Admiral's barges. Um, you've got these two, I don't know if these are pumps or ATM machines or a place to order cheeseburgers or what, but these get uh, little things get assembled and they get put right next to uh, the barge. Uh, it might be a hydraulic pump or just the motor to run the rigging so the ship could go up and down. Anyway, uh, these are the kit parts. They're pretty nice. They uh, come with a rudder and everything. Um, the detail on the inside is probably adequate for what they need to be, but uh, they pop out. Inside here there are two holes down in the bottom. Both sets of instructions, the kit instructions and Pontos instructions say that you need to drill both of these out because the ship ends up sitting on top of a, the ship, 
the little barge ends up sitting on top of a, just a mount or a rack or something to hold it in place and whether you're using the photo etch parts from Pontos or the kit supply part you're gonna need a little mounting hole on both sides for it so we'll go ahead and drill those out I'm just gonna call these uh, boats for the rest of the video here because it's just easier this doesn't look very barge like to me or captain's admiral's brig these are used as far as I could tell for getting the if there was an admiral and there certainly was a the signing of the surrender or the captain of the ship or whoever the highest ranking officers are to and fro there we go from shore and they'd ferry the crew eventually so you could get some other boats back and forth these are not lifeboats although my understanding is the mechan the titanic's kit is missing too so they'd appreciate having these here i guess De -de -de we go together like that and there's some nice little photo etch detail we used to enhance all this but drop it in place and then uh use your tamiya thin all right and then now uh, we'll just repeat that for the other one as well all right, next order of business is painting. I couldn't find any really great reference photos for these. Uh, there is a piece of photo etch that goes around the top here, like a rail that's really nice. I thought about painting these a slightly different color gray than the ship, just so that they would pop out a little bit, but I decided against that. So what I'm gonna do is shoot this whole thing uh, with the gray that we're using on the ship. We're gonna do a black, water line straight across and down uh, once that's dried and set up I'll throw the photo etch on top here and we'll paint this whole thing white I have decided I'm also holding off on putting the keel the rudder sorry the keels down here the rudder in place there's a very nice piece of photo etch uh, for the prop that goes right here Pondos will provide and it'd be a lot easier to stick that on now than attach the rudder afterwards so uh, I'm gonna go with white, so you have a right, white rail along the top, white across here, a white engine cover we'll call it, and then I'll do brown planks inside. We'll paint those with a brush. I think that's gonna be the plan. I think it's gonna look really sharp. Uh, and then we've got a ton of other photo etch and rigging and everything that needs to go together. So I'll get all that painted up. That's the plan, press it on. All right, so we've got the black waterline painted on our little boat, so just marked it off and did it by hand. Uh, then we went ahead and assembled, um, I guess this is the cranes that would lower it, and there's these little photo etch details that Pontos provides to go on. They have a nice little hook and add a little bit extra to the uh, frame, which is nice. The hooks, one is on the outside, one's to the left and one's to the right. I don't know if you can, hopefully you can make that out in the picture there. So you gotta pay attention to those when they go into place. I have concerns about the mounting uh, pegs, we'll call them, right underneath here. Obviously I could just cut those off and stick it on the deck, but because this is a tripod, it kind of affects the angle at which these things sit. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that as we move forward and plan accordingly. So, all right, pressing on. All right, here's our two little boats. I uh, threw the brass photo etch on. It looks really cool. I guess if I was doing a black, white, and gold thing, maybe I would just leave it. Um, but anyway, it adds a lot to the top of the little boat. So what I'll do now is mask off basically right below the edge of the rail to protect everything down here, and we'll paint all of this white, and then uh, we'll touch up the wood on the inside. Uh, there are some rails and two cleats that go on the bows. I'll stick those on too and then paint the whole thing. So we'll come back with that all painted up. All right, real quick here. Uh, I know I've been calling these the Admiral's Barges, but let's go with Captain's gig. That's probably more appropriate. We've got the photo etch cleats up on the bow and then the uh, little handrail in the stern. I w I'm still hesitant to paint this detail white, but some of the research implies that that's correct and I think it's gonna look good, and at this point, it'll just be kind of visually stimulating for the ship, so we're gonna go with that. So let's get this paint up white, and then we'll put some fancy mahogany wood decks in, and then we'll come back to you with the results. Okay, here are the captain's gigs. Uh, we've got our brass screw installed on the back. We've got our rudder. 
Um, tip it this way, you can see the insides. I, man, I can't totally decide if I like all the white. I feel like maybe I should have done the weather deck blue on top on the upper deck and then left the white on the inside, you know, where you're stepping and everything. Maybe that would have been more accurate. I'm not really sure. I just, I got a general description online of what was typically the paint scheme. Uh, I went with that as best as I could. And yeah, I'm going to think on this. I might, I might do a little something different here. But uh, for now, pressing on to doing the assembly of the um, stand that things, this whole thing sits on so we can uh, mount it onto the ship. Okay, so uh, we're working right in here, and I went ahead and installed these two um, cranes, so we'll just call them for right now, for the captain's gigs, and I'll put a little bit of uh, glue underneath them to lock them in position. So there are a total of six holes right here, um, four for these front two legs. They drop in place and there's two very small holes in between. And they're important because you take this piece of photo etch uh, provided by Pontos and they drop in those holes right there, or so it would seem. And this gives you reference for where the captain's gigs is going to end up. This actually gets glued uh, underneath here. Then there's some photo etch that's supposed to be attached here and here uh, to simulate, I guess, rigging to hold the gig in place. So, trying to decide how best to move forward here, I think I'll go ahead and glue this rack to the captain's gigs, get them painted up, and then um, we'll see about adding the photo etcher underneath and then installing the gig right here. Okay, so let's look at what's going on here. There were two, if you recall, tabs sticking up right here from the previous shot. I cut those off because there's little hooks hanging down right here and it's very difficult to get the the ship's gig, sorry. Um, if you attach it to here, you're going to have difficulty getting this bracket in these two holes and underneath the cranes uh, all at the same time. Like it, it just doesn't want to work out. And then there's not room back here to install the boat first and then slide the cranes into place. I mean, you might be able to do that. So anyway, I just cut them off. There's like a supporting bracket here and here in photo etch that I don't totally understand. And then there's these two in the back. I left, hopefully you could see a little gap between this rail and here. They're basically there for aesthetic purposes. So what I'll do is I'll apply CA glue to the top of the mounting rail, maybe a dot here and here, and that will let me Put the gig in place, which basically sits like this. If I can get up there and have it not fall over on me, like so. A little bit there, and then we have a photo etch piece that attaches across here and drops down. So I'm going to glue this into position, and then uh, we'll get that other PE in place. That's how. That's how I'm going to do this. All right. Here's the gig in place, this is on our starboard side obviously, and then here's this uh, fun little rigging deal that goes in between here. Um, it implies that this is chain dropping down and probably a heavy cable up on top, so I'm not totally sure what the correct way to paint it is. I'll probably just do the gray along here and then chain the, paint the chains black dropping down, even though they're probably also the supposed to be the same gray. In fact, you know what, I will. I'll just paint it the same gray as the ship, which means it's probably gonna just about disappear with this anti-aircraft gun platform behind it. But that's it, it looks good. Let's get it painted up and then I gotta do the same thing for the other side. And then, uh, yeah, press it on. All right, here we go on the port side. The other captain's gig is installed. Uh, as you can see, I decided on top there, on both of them to do on the inside a little bit of the uh, weather deck blue. It just adds a little bit of dynamics to the whole gig and I think looks nice. We'll go back here in summary. Here's a bunch of the life rafts that I went ahead and finished up. They go underneath the uh, catapults from last time. Uh, we've got our 
ladders in place there, stairs and railing and everything. I think we're about down to this area now that we need to work on. Uh, moving to the bow, we've got some more of the life rafts installed. We'll come all the way out and around. The other ones are installed up here on the front. Here's the other captain's gig. I think that looks sharp. Uh, we need to do a little bit of weathering right here on this device, but that'll be okay. Um, there's ladders up there. There we've got some more of the life rafts on the back. This is a cool view going towards the bow. And then of course, starboard side, we've got our uh, life rafts over here. So that's it. I think that's going to take care of this episode for right now. Uh, press on. We'll get some more details done and back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.